गुड मॉर्निंग सर तो यू आर वर्किंग एज अ बीडीओ इन व्हिच स्टेट एग्जैक्टली हरियाणा और पंजाब सर हरियाणा ओके we have in recent past we have seen that uh, a lot of boxers come from haryana yes sir but simultaneously we see a trend that uh, a lot of bouncers in delhi and a lot of illegal activities are run by the gangs of haryana also yes sir where we see these boxers simultaneously involved in illegal activities what could be the reasons i believe uh, the reason the uh, um, because um, due to muscle influence they want to uh, create an influence over people and so l- prevalence of gang culture i would also say is one of the reason for it does it have anything to do with lack of in- employment in that particular area Uh, yes sir as a whole the state suffers from lack of uh, employment and uh, and for example sir they are having uh, well of uh, the per capita income of the people of haryana is uh, one of the highest and uh, since they are not employed so they are putting uh, um, their income into wrong ways okay so what can be done to reduce this kind of uh, culture we need boxers but we don't need uh, bouncers from that yes, particular sir. so what can be done uh, <coughs> sir firstly i would say in enforcement of the law should be more stringent so that uh, precedents are set and then people are deterred from uh, doing these activities apart from this sir uh, awareness generation campaigns should also be done in those respective areas and people should be convinced to be more uh, humane and not to be more humane and civilized i would say okay uh, we also see a, a drug culture in punjab it has not only been shown in movies but we uh, see in news also can you tell us the genesis of this issue in punjab uh, yes sir uh, for example sir the drug issue is prevalent in haryana as well sir as far as i have experience it's not only punjab sir these both agrarian uh, the historical reason sir i feel is these both agrarian states sir they got uh, they were at the forefront during the green revolution time and uh, which made them accessible to money and all of their economic indicators uh, reason up but after that uh, since uh, Uh, punjab being a neighboring st- uh, uh, border state so transition of drug happened through these states and the income made them uh, made these drugs accessible to the people apart from this uh, the for example the songs in cinema also to an extent encourages uh, drug use or the use of illicit activities and in fact because of peer pressure and unemployment added to it these things are basically the reasons for the presence of drugs okay bolie uh, when pandit nehru thought of chandigarh they okay. started they basically developed it in a terms that uh, we will bring growth in that particular area it will serve as a uh, you know that this will be the uh, this will serve to the clusters of economy but nothing of that sort happened chandigarh is a place uh, is still a place that is basically not uh, giving too much to india uh, instead yes. uh, we have gurgaon and uh, noida which got uh, developed sporadically without any planning while the chandigarh was planned why do you think it happened uh, sir uh, i would say that in chandigarh sir as uh, it is a small city sir in terms of population also Uh, so, so they are contributing. For example, the major chunk is of service sector there, and apart from, uh, if say the industries, so they are also coming up. For example, the IT park and uh, the adjoining state uh, cities. For example, Mohali, Panchkula, they are also developing on account of their connectivity with Chandigarh. So the contribution is less, but sir, I feel it is improving. Okay. Uh, Uh, do you have you heard the term current annual increase increment 
Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what is it? Uh, sir, for example, uh, it is uh, referred to in the context of a growth of a tree. Uh, for example, uh, the increment which are made in the tree growth uh, in annual terms. Okay. If you are uh, suppose in a forest, how will you? Uh, what are the different ways to tell the height of the tree? Yes, sir. Uh, firstly, we can say uh, some uh, are ex well experienced, and by looking, uh, they can say the the tree height of trees uh, this meter or this. Maybe the accuracy will be less. After that, sir, using pencil method. Uh, for example, using trigonometry and similar triangle concept, also we can find out the height of the tree. And and sir, so there are uh, devices as well. Um, for example, heightometer, sir. If I am not wrong, through them also we can find out the angle as well as the height of the tree. Okay. Have you visited any national park, wildlife sanctuary? Sir, I have visited, uh, but it is it was long back. Sir, I have visited Corbett National Park and Ranthambore National Park. Okay. So, did you find any? Uh, when when did you visit? Sir, Corbett? it was in, uh, sir, it was in two thousand eleven. Okay, back yes, in those days. Yes. Sir. So you don't find time to visit nowadays? Uh, so presently, I have didn't get time also, uh, and. Um, no options. I didn't get. No, I did not write any option to travel. Okay. So what do you do for leisure? Mm -hmm. So for leisure, uh, I go back to my place. Uh, I go back to my home, and then I visit my cousins. And uh, sometimes I go for uh, say walking and everything. So these are only the things. Uh, what is regeneration feeling? Uh, yes, sir. regeneration felling, sir. If I'm not wrong, it is, sir. When the uh, trees are cut, and uh, the regeneration method deployed for uh, generating new trees. What is it, Gurli? Can you explain? Uh, uh, sir, for example, I would say in regeneration felling is. Uh, the kind of uh, silvicultural methods which should be deployed for cutting trees as well as the method for uh, regeneration for generating new trees okay uh, can you differentiate gis and gps for us uh, so global positioning system is uh, basically it tells us the location of our uh, uh, of any target for example the latitude and the longitude of that particular location and uh, geographic information system, it tells us about the details uh, of that particular area. For example, uh, how are the roads or how is there any building present or is there any river present? It provides information about that. Okay. Uh, recently, Chhattisgarh government give, started giving uh, CFRs, Community Forest Rights, inside, uh, inside national parks, Tiger Reserve. Uh, what are the issues related with it? Sir, I haven't heard of this uh, news, but sir, uh, as far as my knowledge and I have read, sir, uh, the issues will be that uh, the uh, beneficiaries should be properly identified. There should not be any fraudulent beneficiaries uh, in it. And um, this is the only issue, sir, which comes to my mind right now. Okay. You uh, as a video, and when you are working as a, as a video, have you come across any forest personnel or the works of forest department? Uh, so once I had uh, an incident. Actually, the trees were to be cut for the development of an irrigation uh, uh, channel, and that land was of Gram Panchayat. So we had to. Uh, I met uh, the DFO sir. And then we had to submit it to the, and some project was being delayed because of, uh, since trees were not cut there. So at that time I had a you know, meeting. So did, uh, did you follow up the whole process? Yes, sir. actually the trees were to be cut, but the, uh, since Gram Panchayat had put up some case on the forest department that, uh, so there, uh, there was a delay in the, um, the project to be undertaken. So we all had submitted to the court that uh, 
um, the trees should be cut and the project should be started and uh, after that we'll discuss that who gets the auction amount so basically the issue was about who will get the auction amount once the trees are cut and auction forest department was saying that they are their resource and the gram panchayat was saying that since it's our land so the money the auction money belongs to us so, so what was, was the uh, what was the solution the solution was that court had taken our uh, uh, all statements and uh, the court said that once auction is done the money will be deposited in some common account and after uh, we decide who is the owner of it the money will be transferred to them okay thank you thank you gulli that's all from my thank you sir good morning gulli uh, am i audible yes sir so uh the uh, coming to your current work uh, you must be chasing some deadlines for the 15th of august uh, yes sir uh, what is that deadline so for example a uh, swamitav scheme is undergoing in state of haryana in, under which the uh, title uh, registrations are given to the people residing in villages so so that has to be completed with all its disputes to be cleared by 15th august Uh, any targets for the pm awas scheme uh, sir there are no uh, particular targets but uh, the beneficiary list uh, it comes from the state headquarters and correspondingly we act accordingly uh, tell me uh, in two ways how people uh, how beneficiaries can misuse the pm awas scheme um, yes sir so the pm awas scheme actually it is so automated uh, in the present scene that the beneficiaries are uh, registered and then verification is done by the gram sachiv that yes they are in need of a pakka house and then uh, correspondingly a beneficiary list is given by the state headquarters but uh, the problem here is for example if the gram sachiv colludes with the people and then they can uh, the fraud beneficiaries can also be enlisted here but however there are checks as well for example geo tagged photos have to be attached so verifying the same uh, can be uh, if someone has an wrong intention they can attach uh, wrong photographs and misuse the scheme okay. so uh, where are you posted currently i said in karnal what is the innate strength of your area like there are some regions which are uh, good in crop cultivation some regions which are known for sports what is the innate strength of your area yes sir so for example uh, that area is also very fertile karnal as a district uh, the agricultural land is very fertile and uh, um, because it is adjoining to the gt road and uh, the land prices are also high apart from this uh, sir i would say Uh, the famous astronaut kalpana chawla ma'am she came from karnal uh, she is associated with karnal that makes the district different okay so my question was slightly different but uh, it is okay uh, tell me in two three ways how farm laws were harmful uh, for the farmers of uh, your region yes sir so the farm laws uh, basically uh, they had uh, one of the law had contractual uh, farming in it and the farmers were uh, 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 having issues with this particular law that the big farm no, big i want uh, i uh, sorry I, i don't want the uh, perspective from the farmer side i want yes, uh, your perspective i want you to tell me how farm laws were harmful to the farmers of your region okay sir sir in this also i would include uh, the contractual farming clause only ki if uh, some uh, fraudulent activities are carried out by the big uh, corporates then farmers would be at loss in this and uh, secondly sir uh, and uh, for example the clause one of the clause this also says that they can sell in the open areas and sir then farmers are which are not well aware of their rights then they can fall prey to these activities and for example they are having the minimum big msp they also will be lost if they are uh, uh, selling their crops in open areas they will not be aware of the rights i feel yeah uh, so uh, you see uh, india is facing a lot of challenges in fact the world is facing uh, challenges in terms of employing uh, the workforce or employing the people 
all over the world we have challenges uh, including industrialized nations like germany uh, to india since you have uh, switched so many jobs you have different uh, varied experience uh, tell me briefly what according to you is the future of employment whatever you understand from this statement i just want to know your perspective your views what according to you is the future of employment so at national level or overall in general yes sir so i feel a uh, future of employment as we are seeing uh, uh, like startups are coming up so so i feel uh, it will be more individualized or uh, more um, Uh, the barriers for example 9 to 5 so they will break i feel and people will uh, for example sir i can even think the people are having two three jobs in the whole day they can uh, for example for three hours they'll do one job after three hours uh, for example in working in shifts which is prevalent also sir in for example in the west and in fact in even in our country so i feel it will be more customized and another thing i feel is uh, the people are more um, these days we see they follow their passions for example the coming up of stand ups and uh, the song platform singing platforms sir i would say so i feel uh, this will also be a uh, future so basically uh, what you said that many words is the growth of the gig economy do you yes, understand sir. the term gig economy yes sir yes, yes. so your uh, Hobbies include dancing. Yes, sir. So I again give you a statement, and I want you to elaborate that, uh, you know, perspective. So yes, in the Indian context, dance is used by the person who performs dance as the offering to God. What do you understand by this statement? Yes, sir. So, uh, for example, if we say historically, uh, the dance which emerged in the classical form also, it was uh, it originated in the temples. Uh, for example, it was seen as a devotion, uh, or for example, we were uh, in uh, praying and then dancing uh, uh, parallelly. And uh, uh, for example, we were praying for the god. So, it was the original uh, idea of dancing and singing as well, sir. I would say. and then it was seen as a way of devotion so but since now it has changed a lot so i would say my statement is this yes so my final question yes sir uh, what learnings uh, are there from your current uh, work profile like how it has impacted your personality how it has changed you for better yes sir so this present job uh, i would say had been uh, given me immense learning uh, sir i would say per matlab till date sir every day i come across a new situation and i uh, have to deal with it and i find out new solutions which i may implement when the same kind of problem appears again for example sir uh, removing encroachments uh, solving the uh, grievances of people holding gram sabhas Uh, and then making deliberations among the people and solving their problems so i feel every day has been a new experience and it has enhanced my personality it has made me more strong oh, that was nice uh, it was pleasure talking to you